halfway through the year. I wanted to check in with you guys about my challenge that I've been doing with myself on Goodreads. It's to read 52 books in a year, so essentially a book a week. Um, I wanted to pretty much just chat with you guys about where I'm at with that. Um, I have currently read 27 books and I still have 25 to go. So I have three months to read 25 books, so let's see, there's like four weeks every month, so October, November, December, 4 times 3 is 12, so it's 12, and I have 25 books to read, so I definitely have my work cut out for me, but I am going to try and stick to the goal, and I'm going to get there. I currently have a list of books that I would like to read, um, just to kind of get through before the end of the year. Um, I'm currently reading Elmer Park, and I'm listening to the Dexter, it's like number 6, I don't remember which one, what the title's called, but it's the one before the last one. I'm currently listening to that on audiobook. I'm in the middle of reading Khloe Kardashian's autobiography. And I have been working on the Clockwork Prince, like, on and off since, like, last summer. And it's, like, it's one of those series that I started reading and I really enjoyed it. And it's, like, the last book, so I'm, like, dragging it out as long as possible. <laughs> I don't want it to end. Um, but once I eventually finish those, I would love to start this new Bones series because I haven't read those before in their entirety. I've kind of been avoiding that Shadow Hunter show because I don't want it to ruin the book for me, so I've been doing that. Um, I also have a list of books that I want to read for the rest of the year. It's mostly books that I've kind of been stockpiling on my nook, as well as books that I've been stockpiling on my shelves that I just haven't gotten around to. So those are my goals, and I definitely hope to stick to those, and I definitely hope to get them read. I'm actually going on a trip in the next few weeks. Um, so hopefully lots of travel time will mean lots of reading time and I can get some of my stuff knocked out of the way so I can get that done. Um, since being back to work I haven't really had as much reading time as I would like. Um, but with all of my shows that I was watching kind of like ending, like I wrapped up Teen Wolf to where they're at right now so I'm waiting for the new season to start. And then I started watching Girls on Amazon Prime but I got to I got to where you have to either buy the episodes or watch it on HBO, and our HBO loads, it loads really slow, so I haven't been watching them as quickly as I was watching them on Amazon Prime. So I've been kind of slowing on those. Um, but in my next video, next week, I'm going to be talking all about the fall lineup of all the fun shows that are coming back that I'm super excited for. Um, some of my favorites are Supernatural. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, but I'm always up for suggestions. There's so many new books out there, like, every day. It's almost overwhelming to decide what to read next. Um, but I think I will definitely be able to get through it, hopefully. Um, I definitely want to get through my 52 books so I can get prepping for NaNoWriMo. I have a new story that I plotted out a while ago that I've been wanting to work on, but I haven't really worked on yet. So I think I'm saving that for NaNoWriMo so I can actually, like, power through it. Um, but I do plan on doing NaNoWriMo this year, so once November kicks in, I'm going to be on doing wee videos every week for that. So stay tuned for those, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!